Athletics running is fun and fascinating for both the athletes and fans. However, the sport is full of adverse challenges. Because Evan Jager is surely running for a sub eight minute clocking here. Oh, the coach has oh, oh. gone down. Oh. Jager, get up, concentrate. Oh. Oh. Despite different obstacles in this field, athletes choose to fight drastically against anything negative that can hinder the achievement of their goals. You miss your training because uh, you don't train as usual. In this episode, we focus on Bernard Coetz, an athlete who has been suffering from an injury for a long time. But this doesn't stop him from pursuing his running dream. And then um, after a while, he shifted in this muscle and he shifted also up to the hip injury which is on this side. About 4 p.m. at Bellio Training Camp in Iten, El Geo, Maracuete County, we find Bernard Coach having a chat with his physiotherapist. <laughs> Coach wants to know what he needs to do in order to overcome his current situation. He tells us that the injury has taken him for over two months without active training. <laughs> We return to the camp the following morning and find Koech undergoing a light massage. We later got an opportunity to hear from him. You know, when you have decided from the bottom of your heart that uh, you wanted to do this athletics, maybe you had passion, maybe you are inspired, you see. Uh, you have to do, to do everything that you can to make sure that you still remain in the track. <laughs> The 24-year-old Kenyan athlete began his running life way back in 2012 and competes in 10-kilometer road races as well as half-marathon events. Hailing from Kibigo's village in Marakwet West constituency, Koech migrated to Iten for maximum training activities, but the long-distance runner is currently experiencing the lowest moment ever in his life as an athlete. This one has been a bit worse because uh, <coughs> sometimes back I've been had in a, having an injury but uh, it wasn't that worse than this one because the other one was actually some two weeks, one week uh, if more and uh, this one has been uh, persisting for a long time because I remember it started from the, my left leg and then now after some time it's swapped into the right leg so and uh, into the hip and now so you see, it has now stayed like about one and a half, two months, you see. So it's a quite long period of time now. So it, this one is, uh, the, the, I think, this one is the longest injury that I've experienced since, my, uh, since I started my career of uh, athletics. In September this year, Coach was forced to cancel his racing plans in Spain as he could not do enough preparation due to the situation in his leg. And uh, also, like, uh, I've missed my races so far. I've, li I've missed um, uh, Porto half marathon that was in September, and also Valencia half that was in October, and all of them I've already missed. So, there are many challenges already that I've, uh, I've missed, uh, and there are many challenges already that I'm facing. Regular training exercises became difficult and at some point he had to stop training completely for three weeks but sadly this did not provide the healing he needed. Also like I'm mentally tortured because uh, I, don't, uh, I don't enjoy myself, I don't enjoy my friends training and uh, I'm just here just like sitting and only doing some stretching within the camp and uh, you know I face a lot of challenges. Actually, it's a, a little painful. So, what comes to your mind when you see your colleagues running and you, you are not able to run? It's actually pissing me because uh, when, you see, when I see my colleagues running and I don't run, it's uh, quite challenging because, uh, you know, you usually love or enjoy to train with them. And uh, when now, when you see them training alone and you're not uh, part of the train, you see, you feel you feel you, you don't feel comfortable you feel like you're not uh, like usual when the rest of his colleagues embark to their daily routine training exercises 
Quaich performs easy exercises with the hope of getting back to his normal life, but as he says, there is nothing to smile about yet. The more challenging thing is my training has been interrupted and that's what uh, yeah, it's not actually good on my side. How are you working hard to, to overcome this situation? There is some follow-ups that I'm doing so far because uh, I have a physiotherapist, his name is Kennedy, and uh, he's just doing my follow-up. I actually met him like uh, one and a half months ago and he has been now following up for my treatment and he is always massaging me and uh, just, just trying to give me a that six on how to uh, get rid of this injury. And again, I've been um, doing some checker machines and uh, several times and to see maybe there, there was a combination of the blood in my ape and uh, so I just tried the checker because the checker is always uh, good in uh, relieving the the, the blood veins uh, which uh, accumulate a little bit. So I've been doing that. Again, I've been doing uh, some core uh, stretching and uh, uh, many other uh, activities within the compounds. Me, the physiotherapist, who are Ashikanga massage working behind. Kennedy Rob is a physiotherapist based in Iten and he has been a close care provider of Bernard Coach. After in gym, I suppose, the big and the elongate muscles, small and poor. So kwa sasa ni nini ambacho coach anafaa kufanya ili aweze kupona haraka iwezekanavyo kwa maana niliongea na naye akaniambia atakuwa na atakuwa na race uh, mwaka ujao. Mhm. Mm ni nini anafaa kufanya? Chenye ningeomba penalt coach afanye kuanzia hivi sasa. Mm -hmm. The first thing mm -hmm. is to accept that Yes, an injury. The mm. more you accept, you reduce the percentage of that pain. According to Rob, Koet's current obstacle has taken too long than he expected, but it's just a matter of time before the athlete go back to what he loves most. This has been a burden to the Kenyan citizen who has been passionate about running for long. His passion for the sport has taken him to different countries, including South Africa and Italy, where he competed and won some races. It's true that 2018 has not been a bed of roses for Koech, but he is very optimistic about the future. So, any plans to race in the near future when you recover today from the injury? Yeah, I'm focusing now for Milan Marathon in April. It is a sport with many, many challenges, but as most athletes put it, go hard or go home. And Koech says he will never throw in the tower. Alex Kalyan K, Sporting